the journey to making great banana boats begins in your local grocery store. To start with, select some items that would traditionally go into making s'mores. Marshmallows, chocolate chips, even graham crackers. But don't be afraid to let your imagination run a little wild. Just be like a kid in a candy store again. Walk up and down the candy aisle and select things that you think might go well in any kind of dessert. Oh yeah, don't forget the bananas. Build a nice big fire and let that burn down. You're gonna cook the banana boats on the coals. You can start to prepare your bananas by cutting the extra long stems off. Then, using your knife, carefully make a slit from one end of the banana to the other. Just be careful not to cut all the way through the banana. Your goal is to try to make a type of boat out of the banana, hence the name. Now that the banana boat is ready, you can start to fill it with the different types of candy that you purchase from the store. The one I'm making here is a traditional s'more banana boat using chocolate chips, pieces of graham crackers, and then topping that with marshmallows. Before placing the marshmallows on, I did place the banana boat on a piece of tin foil. That just helps contain any of the marshmallows that may fall off. Carefully wrap the banana boat, sealing the top and then both sides. This banana boat's ready to go, and I'm gonna start working on the next one. The second one I'm making, I'm using the Andes Mint Chocolate and topping with marshmallows. Seal that one up just the same way we did the first one. Make sure all the edges are closed at the top and both sides. For my third banana boat, I'm filling it with Reese's Peanut Butter Cup Minis and topping with marshmallows. This one is great if you really like a good peanut butter flavor. My fourth banana boat I filled with Heath Bits and topped with marshmallows. And for my final banana boat, I got a little experimental. I'm filling it with cinnamon, a cap full of vanilla extract, and then topping it with caramel syrup. I accidentally turned the banana over in this clip, but since I was working on top of the tin foil, it was all contained onto the sheet. I topped it with some marshmallows and then sealed it up like the others. Once your fire has cooked down to coals, your banana boats are ready to go on. I put these on for about 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, they're ready to come off. Just be careful, everything's going to be hot and you definitely want to use some gloves or some tongs to pull them off of the coals. Keeping your gloves on, you can carefully open the tin foil. And as you can see, everything turned out really great. The banana peel helps to protect the banana fruit from burning and all of the candies bake up really nicely inside of the tin foil. All right, the family's still outside. These are cooling down, but I think I'm gonna get first taste on these. I'm gonna try the, this is traditional, just s'mores banana, graham crackers, chocolate, and marshmallows. Let's see what's up. Oh 
for you. That's a winner. You get that traditional s'more flavor, but with the banana twist on it, which is great. This next one, this was the messy one. This was the one with the caramel and the vanilla and the cinnamon. This one definitely was messy, but you know how that goes with desserts. That usually means good. Hmm. Yeah, if you're a cinnamon fan, that's that's really great. Oh, let's see. I don't even know this one. The miniature Reese's cups with banana and marshmallows. I think I got a little bit of each one of those on there. All right. Hmm. A lot of peanut butter flavor in that one. So if you're a peanut butter fan, that one is for you. This one is the Heath Bits with banana. Mm. Banana, lots of banana flavor. And the Heath Bit Crunch, which is really nice. I think I'm most excited about this last one. This is the Andes Mint Banana Boat with marshmallows. I love mint flavor. So I'm really kind of excited to see if that mint flavor comes through. I can smell it. Oh yeah. Strong mint flavor, which is great if you love mint. That was, that was, that's, oh, and a great aftertaste. Like that cool mint aftertaste. Yes, that's probably the best part. I think all five of these are great. I think my favorite is probably the classic s'more and maybe a toss up with this Andy's mint, but there's not a bad banana boat on here. So I'd urge you to try this at your next campfire, cookout, overnighter, what have you. It packs away pretty easily. You can throw it on the coals right after you finish your dinner, and this makes a great dessert. I'm definitely, the next time I go on an overnighter, I'm gonna bring one of these at least with me. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Campfire Cooking. Be sure to subscribe for more content, and we'll see you on the next one.